Jennings up, come on, Jennings. Look at this, come on, Jennings up. Jennings, come on, Jennings up. Did you better than that? Come on! It looks like you're going to be something of a local hero. Oh, am I? Uh, well, uh, oh, I see. Excuse yeah. me, sir, can you tell yeah. me what happened? Yeah, well, I was just jogging along here with some lads, you know, from the boxing oh, club. Hang down. It's always bankrupt. I think you pressed those two. Oh. This is Carol Mason reporting yeah. from the city. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'll take one of this. It's marvelous, isn't it? Okay. Seven, fifteen, eight. Look at this. Oh, I saw a little hole around the side here. Just put that in. Thousands in cash. Is that nothing? Yeah. Bank Just switch it. Yeah. What's this picture? Weren't you terrified? Um. Then no, I didn't have time. Exactly, an armed man. What's your Francis been up to? Every Londoner will be toasting you tonight, Mr. Kane. Oh, suddenly he's my Francis, is he? Several shots fired. Well, he is your brother. Police are looking for two men. At which point, a police officer intervened, and the man was taken into custody. You've done this sort of thing before. What, citizen's arrest? Making statements. Oh, yeah, well, as a priest, uh, I ran a mission up in Liverpool, you know, a seaman's mission, so, um, yeah, yeah, I've made a few statements. Forgive me, uh, 
a priest. Mm. The bishop got a bit fed up with my little weakness. Boys. All says. <laughs> you went on me. <laughs> <laughs> Dear good child, flying squad, I've come to collect your prisoner. You know what you got for him, don't you? You know Mr. Kane? Very nasty piece of work, Mr. Kane. Won the Pentonville Weightlifting Championship three years running. Well, hey, wait. This gentleman. Your prisoner, Sammy Vance. Oh, look, Sarge, uh, we need to have a word with him. You know, while he's still in shock. Yeah, sure. Right, you want me to sign it? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, thank you for your statement. Uh, I'll come round to the uh, Paradise uh, dance hall if I need to talk to you anymore. I know you, don't I? John Joe. Come a long way since Kilburn, eh, Mick? Walter Fagan. Boss? I've heard of you, Mr. Kane. What's more than I say about you, Mr. Fagan? John Joe, we're not open yet. Show these gentlemen to the door, will you? Thanks to your brother, I'm one man down, 140 grand out of pocket. Listen, Wally. This morning's excitement had nothing to do with me, all right? He's a liability, your brother, isn't he? What is Frank's favorite book as fond of saying? I'm not my brother's keeper. The matter is dropped. If you ain't his keeper, it's all right if I go after his holy Roman eye, then. His family. The man is also very impetuous. But on my brother's behalf, you have my sincerest apology. There's no way Sammy's going down because of your brother's mistake. They're moving him from your local nick to Rochester Row. You spring him, the debt's cleared. I don't want him sweet talk into some deal. Seems reasonable enough in the circumstances. I'll think about it. But I can't promise anything. Now get out of my club. I'm trying, John Joe. I'm trying my hardest to be a good brother to Frank. That looks like we've got to go and prove it. We? I thought he was your brother. Hey, hey! Did you see me? I've been on the telly. Don't you want to know what happened? Frank. I know what happened, mate. Believe me, I really do know what happened. Haven't caused you any problems, have I? Nothing I can't handle. Uh, so, <clears throat> this guy, he had a gun to this kid's head. Plucky little girl, she... Frank, you did a very brave thing. And I wouldn't have expected anything else of you, all right? And don't you think it's a bit early for all that? Danny, if I didn't know that you'd gone straight, I'd be asking myself if that wasn't your job that I'd asked up. All right, Frank, I've got a few problems. But I'm going to sort them out. And when I do, I'm going to take you up west. We're going to have a flatter. You can show me your new system on the shemmy tables. I landed you right in it, didn't I? Frank, they're my problems. They're nothing to do with you, believe me, OK? It's all down to me. Hello, Danny. What sort of a day have you had? Nearly perfect. How was yours? Listen, doll, can I uh, call you back? Yeah, love you. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Stevie. Yeah, she's fine, thanks. Now, I need a little favour for tomorrow. I need your boys to set something up. Now my boys will be able to handle that in a bit, but I want at least five of your blokes when the whistle goes. 
Yeah, but I reckon we need two backup trucks and one top driver and a jack. Helicopters, do me a favour, Charlie. I'm not James Bond. We're in position, boss. We'll make sure the package is still there. They'll probably move it in a plane van or something. Yeah, yeah, I got that. The lads are on standby. Yeah, well, will keep me in food and don't move it without my say-so. Sure. Yeah, it's all Package leaving the depot. Let's go. TVs of Rochester Road, but they do make a nice cup of cocoa. Heck it is. Bring it on. My cuffs are too tight. I'm an agony. I can't. Oh, pain in my chest. I can't breathe proper. It's right, Dave. That's all I need. <laughs> Looks like we're off the hook. Phone Danny. Well, at least that gets Fagan away back, doesn't it? See you back at the club. Find out where Father Francis Kane can be contacted. Perhaps it's time we made our peace with him. Well, well, well. And how is your grace? We miss you, Francis. We miss you here in Liverpool. Yeah, that all uh, seems a very long time ago. Your interpretation of the dream of St. Hieronymus used to bring tears of laughter to the driest of eyes. Yes, well, um, I know how busy you always are, Bishop, so what brings you to phone a lost soul like me? Father, I have to be in London myself tomorrow morning. I was wondering if you could be bothered to meet me at St Jude's for a little chat. We could stroll in the gardens. I remember how you used to love hearing the children in the playground. 
Francis? Um, uh, no, I've, um, <clears throat> I've got commitments uh, tomorrow morning, Your Grace. Well, I'm sorry it's such short notice, but uh, suddenly, Francis, one gets a, a gut feeling, you know, to seize the moment. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I'll be there anyway. Door is always open. Stand down the amusement centre is getting a bit of hassle at the moment from the drug squad. He tries to keep the place clean, but the yardies use the place like a leisure centre. It is a leisure centre, Junja. Not a great telly man, boss. Look, he's asked if he can be down Raider for a few weeks until business picks up. Sure. So we can pay on a pound a week until he gets himself straight. He says that if we was earning our protection money, we'd move the yardies on. The man's got a point. Let's see what we can do. Sledgehammers, have we? Yeah, make his own arrangements, didn't he? Well, we showed William. Now I've apologised for my impetuous brother. End of story. Tore a police van apart, didn't you, Sammy? Looks like I put up a bit of a fight. Point is, your debt is not paid. You have not atoned for the sins of your brother. Get him out of here. I don't want to be done robbery. Oi! I'm 140 grand down thanks to your brother Frank and I want it back by Friday! Listen, there's nothing to worry about. I can't get blood out of a stone. Hi. Oh, I've just been down the gym. Get coping. No, not really. The Alps, then? No. You must be the new DS at Orient Street, Nick. Nesbitt's the name, and I don't like wasting my time. You phoned me on the snouts line asking for my predecessor. I'm fair, I think. What have you got? You, uh, au fait with the local colour. I'm on a learning curve. Has to be worth a century. 
I've got snouts queuing up, chum. I'm new here. It's a buyer's market. All right, all right. Don't get you trunching in a town hall. I'll give you this to show you the quality of my stuff. It's a gift, OK? After that, it's strictly business. So, I'm listening. Paradise Club. D. Kane, Esquire. Rings a bell. Upstairs bar, secret and dark. A meeting between two lords of the underworld. D. Kane, Esquire. And who? Mephistopheles? <laughs> No. Walter Wally Fagin with a couple of his boys. I was close then. Who was with him? Couldn't rightly see. But he goes around with uh, Angel Eyes the Gypsy, so probably him. You said there were a couple of the boys. Didn't get more than a glimpse. Big blow. Arm in a sling. Find out what they were talking about. And you get your hundred. I'm not an Asian provocateur, you know, Mr. Elliot Ness. Be get out of here. Father Francis, Frank, I pray that you would come. Yeah, well, uh, you obviously got some clout up there. <laughs> <laughs> I was most impressed to read of your divine intervention. <laughs> uh, heroic intervention oh. in, uh, <laughs> in an armed robbery. Yeah, if I'd known all the trouble it was going to start, I probably wouldn't have bothered you, Grace. Oh, uh, paperwork and such like. More of a such like, actually. Francis, it's very hard for a pompous old bishop to admit to having made a mistake. You were never pompous. You were very mean spreading the rumour Ecclesiastes 4, verse 16 said, go forth and multiply. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon that nobody would bother to check up, but it probably sent a few lost souls scurrying to look at the good book. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. You were telling me I was wrong to remove you from the seaman's mission. I was hurt. Sin of pride, Bishop. Events. A bit of an embarrassment. For you, maybe. Or was your prisoner? Uh, we were only acting under orders, Jack. Flying squad orders. You're a law unto yourself, <laughs> you know. You don't want to believe everything you see on TV. I think I could drop a real beer. I prefer Guinness myself. Every man to his own. Danny Kane. Rings a bell. Jack, I'll come to the point. Look, good child, it's taken 20 minutes and two rounds and you've finally managed to come clean. Now, for a flying squad man, that means you're in need of a bit of local assistance, I'd say. Okay, you're right. We reckon there's a connection between the breakout of your... Uh, my prisoner and Danny Kane. From what I know of Kane, I'd say that's almost impossible to prove. Well, come on, he must have heard something. I'm a new man to this area. Not that new. 
I have heard that Fagan's been talking to Danny. What about? I don't know. I'll keep looking. Danny Kane and Walter Fagan. Get in those two. Not bad for a local man, eh? All right, Jack, but you need my manpower. Sure, and you want my information. So we start by targeting Danny and you'll keep listening, agreed? Francis, I was discussing your case this morning with the Archbishop and the clerical discipline counsellor. Children I used to hear, you know, when I worked here, they must be in their late 20s by now, yet the voices are the same. When I was a child, we used to play Chinese whispers. Francis, you've never been very far away from our thoughts, from our prayers. Come back to us. We have so much for you to do. Come back. We feel the loss. You're a good man. We were possibly over harsh in our earlier judgments. I consider myself to be a Christian father, aren't I? I suppose officially I'm still a priest since no one had the inclination to defrock me. You're still a priest of this order, Francis, if you truly wish to be. But I, see, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> they say he moves in mysterious ways. I, I plow a more secular furrow now, a bit like that mission you chucked me out of. And with respect, I feel that I, I'm making a contribution. I'm aware of your involvement with the um, <clears throat> dance emporium. Frank, but this paradise place is not high on our list of pastoral priorities. There are the hundreds of homeless children living in cardboard boxes, Calcutta brought to London. There's a chaplaincy at Wandsworth Prison. Father, we need you back in the fold. Thank you for thinking of me. Will you consider? No, I do. I don't need to embarrass you again. I still can't resist the odd game of chance. Okay, now, let's give it the old one. So, hey, you know, wait, one, three, back, miss. Go again. One, two, one, two, go again. Hey, hey. Wow! Whoa! I'm going to go over people to see. Things to do. Oh. Bishop's offered you a prodigal's return. You're going to take it? No, I don't think so. Good. Even though you dropped in it with that have a go, Lark, I think I'd miss having you around. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that Mickey Fagan, he scared the hell out of me. Wally. What? Wally Fagan is a very serious criminal, more violent than I am, or was. So level with me about Fagan, eh? Fagan wanted his boy Sammy sprung from the law. Sammy sprung himself, so Fagan's moved the goalpost. 
He wants his money back, and, and, and you're going to do a, do a job to get it for him? It's the world I live in, Frank. I like coming over those times. Grab yourself a sandwich. You're starting to lose weight. Shameless. Oh, yeah, um, Walter phoned. Walter? Said it was about fire insurance. Fire insurance, eh? Right. House and contents. He said he'd know it was about. Yeah, all right, no, thanks. Uh, promise Joe I'll go with you the next couple of days to pick up the kids, okay? Oh, Danny, not again. There's no problem, I promise you. Listen, I've got a dash. I love you. Bye. Yeah. Back in Dublin, a bloke I used to work for. He ran a tight farm, he was always one for the quiet life. Once, someone threatened his kids. Just the once. Look, boss, you can't sit still for blokes like that. Bob was frank, didn't I? Run past me a few of the jobs we've got on the shelf. Shelf? What shelf? It's a metaphor, Jojo. I was speaking metaphorically. And now you're blinding me with science. Just fill me in with what jobs uh, we were setting up before we... Uh... Before we went straight? I'll do the jokes, OK, Junker? Cash are to be fenced. Cash? There's a couple of places we're doing protection on. They're good for 80 to 100,000. No. Nah. No. Nah. Too obvious. Cash and carry off Edgeware Road. Case didn't did a rehearsal in early February. No. No. Oh, we've a nice one set up and ready to go. Use notes. Do you know that place near the Royal Mint Bullion Centre? Mint. We got a man inside can take us there? Yep. Jojo. Looks like we're going back to work. <laughs> You've got two men on the front, both oldish, they wouldn't give you any problems. But normal front of tilt security, you know, cameras around the glass, reinforced pillars to stop a sledgehammer attack, alarms to the local nick, and external horns as well. Can you fix that? Yeah, no problem. What about around the back? It's useless. Small courtyard, 20 foot walls, cameras, and a steel mesh gate with electronic eye controls. You put eight and a half grand on a 16 to one outside. You don't have money to burn. Because I'm a mug, Fred. Looking for a quick 140 grand, eh? Oh, we all know the problem you and Danny got with Molly Fagin. Here, I didn't take the bet. But I, I've got a receipt. You clerics don't have a monopoly on good works, Father. Take it. And uh, if you're having real problems with Fagin, I've got a few friends I'd be very happy to speak with. God bless you, Fred O'Connor. Well, thanks for taking my boy Kevin into your boxing club. He's a change, lad. Alarms to the local Nick and external horns as well. Can you fix that? Now we know. This has got to be the Fagin connection. You'd agree we've got him? Apart from one thing. Correct. That's where you come in. Find out when. Seems too easy. I'm uh, not totally convinced about this. It's a bit pat, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're going to have to learn to work with us, Jack. That's what we agreed. Yes. 
find out when. But I've got an early start. I need all my wits about me tomorrow morning. Come on. Yes, we do, guys. We do. You think this is getting my social life? Yeah. CID Nesbitt. Need all my wits about me. Got a big day tomorrow, aren't I? Quite. Tomorrow? It's maybe nothing, but uh, I can only think of one thing that'll keep those two away from a chance of two tickets for the big fight. Yeah, maybe it's nothing. Thanks for phoning. Hello, love. Could you get me the Flying Squad Reserve at Scotland Yard, please? Done. I'm on a learning curve. Yeah, we'll stick around, Jack, but uh, keep in the background, you know. Flying squad. Law to yourself. Why, Nehoma? Frank Kana. Lung hoi tai yonkotomo. Now, tell her it's the only Guaylo who ever won the five button game. Just a second, Mr. Kane. Madam Leung. Me? Mama Lung. It's Frank Kane. Why I not see you long time? Honorable Lung Fa, this miserable person humbly suggests that he is of such little consequence that Honorable Lung Fa would not remember the occasion. Bullshit. You were a priest who was parachute soldier, speaking bad French, most fluent. You play a game called Wisdom is Folly, most well. I play you in Hong Kong, I play you in Canton, I play you once here, before you change from soldier to holy priest. You almost win each time. I said I would return when I believed that I could win. Ah. Chris, before we start, minimum stake is 1,000 pounds. I understand. Your wager? Eight and a half thousand pounds. Remember, if a draw, first caller wins. Right. Call. Four. You 
call. Two. Ah, you must have zero. You win again. Your winnings are 35,000. I wish to play on, Lungfa. I know. I call three. Four. Nobody win. Play on. Two. One. I win again. 70,000, double or quits. Four. Three. Control, stand by. Against 140,000. You have just lost. I have the deeds to your club. You asked me to double or quits. Your loss would be 280,000.
first caller wins. A worthy opponent. When you learn this game, folly become wisdom. From my dad. We called it spoof. Spoof? Ah. Give this priest who was parachute soldier 140,000 pound cash. And of course, your deeds. Thank you. And take this gift. That was truly a game worth playing. Leong Fa enjoy himself. word. Looking a bit pleased with yourself, aren't you? Yep. I just had a very funny phone call. That what? about how you went and paid Fagan off the whole £140,000 plus. You had six triads with you and you proceeded to run him out of town. Oh, just some Chinese mates of mine and uh, only suggested, you know, that Fagan took a holiday for his health. And here I was thinking that you shouldn't be on the streets when you run. Well, all I can say, mate, is thanks a bunch. Yeah, now at least you don't have to go ahead with your own plans, right? Too right, Frank. Right. Too right. the Royal Mint Bullion Vault today, right under the noses of a police undercover unit on another case. Police are not prepared to discuss the amount, but unconfirmed sources put the figure in excess of half a million... You little weasel, give it back! Oh, come on, Frank. I mean it. 